in a theocratic Britain, young Malcolm Polstead, accompanied by his daemon, sets out on a daring adventure to deliver the daughter of the ex-chancellor to safety. What's that place over there? Oh, that's the store that's the sister of St. Rosemary. Nate, did you guys anything to drink? No, let's just take a water on this. Water? And who's St. Rosemary? I never asked about her. There's a picture of her in the same glass, though. It's sort of standing in the great big ring. I expect she's named after it. I'll have to ask Sister Benedict. You know that moment? Oh, I talk to him every day, sir. More or less. I do odd jobs around the priory. Run errands, that sort of thing. Do these nuns ever have visitors? Oh, yes, sir. All kinds. When the brewery has visitors, what sort of people will they meet? Well, ladies sometimes, young ladies, sometimes an old priest or a bishop, maybe. I think they'll they come here for a rest. Have you lived here at home, Lighthouse? Oh, yes, sir. I was born here. And in all your long experience of the brewery, do you ever know them to look after an infant? A very young child, sir. Yes, the child too young to go to school, even a baby. Never known that? No, sir, never. Sister Benedicta, when they were deciding whether to put the baby here, was it the ex Lord Chancellor who decided, Lord Nugent? He had a part in the decision, yes. Now, if. What's the Lord Chancellor's job? He's one of the chief law officers of the Crown, he's the Speaker of the House of Lords. That was it his job to decide about this baby then? There must be loads of babies. If he had to decide where each of them should go, he wouldn't have time to do anything else. I'm sure you're right, but that's the way it was. Her parents are important people, mind you. That had something to do with it, and I hope you haven't been talking about it. It's supposed to be confidential. It's certainly private. You ever know of a man by the name of Gerard Bonneville? Mr. Van Taxo, what's all this about? I got two warnings for you. First, the weather is going to improve in the next few days. Sunshine, warm winds. Don't be fooled by it. After that, the rain will come back even harder. And there'll be the biggest flood anyone's ever seen for a hundred years. And not a normal flood either. Every river is full of bursting. And a lot of the wares are about to give away. The river board ain't been doing its job. But more than that, there's things in the water been disturbed. And in the, things in the sky too. And they're both clear and bright to them as can read the signs. Tell your mother and father, be ready. I will. And remember that name I said, Gerard Bonneville. You know him if you see him because his diamonds are hyena. Oh yes, he's been here a few days ago. His diamonds only got three likes. Has she now? Did she say anything to you? No, I don't think anyone wanted to speak to him. He was drinking by himself. He looked nice. Well, he might try to be nice to you. Don't you go near him. Never let him get you blood. You're wrong about the child. Wrong in what way? You think she's your child, but she's not. Well, you're wrong about her too. What's the Rusa Caulfield? My, my, you are a persistent child. But if I were in your position, I'd want to know something else entirely. Get off my boat!